Good morning. Today is Tuesday within the 28th week of Ordinary Time, the, mo the memorial of St. Teresa of Jesus, Virgin and Doctor of the Church. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. We're sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through your Spirit raised up St. Teresa of Jesus to show the Church the way to seek perfection, grant that we may always be nourished by the food of her heavenly teaching and fired with longing of true holiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, for freedom Christ set us free, so stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. It is I, Paul, who am telling you that if you have yourselves circumcised, Christ will be of no benefit to you. Once again, I declare to every man who has himself circumcised that he is bound to observe the entire law. You are separated from Christ, you who are trying to be justified by law. You have fallen from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we await the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything, but only faith working through love. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Let, Let your, your mercy, mercy come, come to me, o Lord. Lord. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. Let, Let your, your mercy, mercy come, come to me, me, O Lord. Take not the word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinances is my hope. Let, Let your, your mercy, mercy come, come to me, me, O Lord. Lord. And I will keep your law continually forever and ever. Let your, Let your mercy, mercy come, come to me, me, O Lord, Lord, and I will walk at liberty because I seek your precepts. Let your, Let your mercy, mercy come, come to me, O Lord, Lord, and I will delight in your commands, which I love. Let, Let your, your mercy, mercy come, come to me, me O Lord. Lord, and I will lift up my hands to your commands and meditate on your statutes. Let, Let your, your mercy, mercy come, come to me, me O Lord. Lord. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may proclaim his gospel worthily and well in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at his table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O oh, you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools, did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what it is within, give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. So, you know, today's gospel, that famous passage, Jesus talks about cleaning the inside of the cup and worried more about what's inside than what's outside. I think the Pharisee had a different set of priorities than what Jesus had. You know, his priority was washing, following all those prescribed laws that the Jews have. Jesus was more worried about what's on the inside, what's in our hearts, what's in our soul, what we think, what we give alms, what we give charity, what we give help to others. I think, you know, as we look at ourselves, our priorities might be different from other people's priorities, not saying who's right or who's wrong, but I think we need to get outside of our own priorities, our own thoughts, and contemplate on what Jesus thinks, what God thinks is important. You know, there's that famous scripture passage of worrying about the speck in our brother's eye versus the wooden beam in our own eye. I think we tend to get that perspective maybe a little bit wrong. We need to think about what's inside. We need to think about all those things that Jesus taught us to love others, to help others, to give charity to others, to love God, to love our neighbor and love ourselves. I think that's the message of today's gospel, cleaning that inside of our cup, that inside of our heart, inside of our minds, and reflect upon that, my brothers and sisters. 
Let us now turn to our Heavenly Father with these petitions. For our church, may it always be a community of love, mercy, forgiveness, and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our hear prayer. Our prayer. For our peace in our entire world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who are ill, particularly with long-term diseases, may they know the renewing and comforting touch of the Almighty God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For all those who have died, may they come to share in the resurrection and peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you this day with humble hearts and ask that you hear and answer these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of God's holy church. May our offerings, O Lord, be acceptable to your majesty, to whom the devoted service of St. Teresa was pleasing in such good measure, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness, and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Ray and Kunis, the and the deceased members of the Alexandra and Josephine Parenti family, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, John. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sin, sin of the world, world have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. The blood of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord our God, that your obedient family, whom you have fed with the bread of heaven, may follow the example of St. Teresa and rejoice to sing of your mercies for all eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.